Hello everybody, this is Lane Hilgenhole with Tecumati Wildlife Systems and today I'm standing in the King of Ladino White Clover food plot tucked way back in the woods. This spot was cleared off and then frost seeded early this spring and a couple weeks ago I came in and put an exclusion cage in this food plot. That's why I'm back here today to talk to you about the importance of exclusion cages and the quality information that they can give you. The exclusion cage is just a wire mesh cylinder. This one's about two feet in diameter attached to a T-post driven into the ground. And the idea behind the cage is to keep the deer from eating the forage within the cage. That way you can see how the deer are utilizing the rest of your food plot. So if the forage within the cage is taller than the forage in the rest of your food plot, you know for one, the deer are using your food plot and grazing on it. And then the amount of difference in that lets you know how heavily the deer are using your food plot and if they're overgrazing it. So if you come out and the forage inside the cage is growing great, but the rest of your food plot is down to the dirt, you know that it wasn't a food plot failure, it's just that the deer overgrazed your food plot. Then that lets you make some management decisions from there. For one, maybe you need to expand the food plot and add more food on the property. Or two, maybe you need to reduce some of the deer numbers and take more deer off the property because when they're overgrazing a food plot, means there's not enough quality food there on that property for the number of deer there are. So either A, add more food, or B, reduce some of those deer numbers. But the exclusion cage is a great tool to see how the deer are utilizing your food plot and how heavily they're utilizing your food plot so you can make some better management decisions from there. Thank you guys for trusting Tecumati, and we wish you the best in your food plot endeavors. Thank you.